said time can't stop this program. We still gonna bring this word up. That's right. That's right. Let's see right. Exodus chapter 20, pick it up at the first verse. Let's see what the so-called black man, woman, and child is supposed to be doing. Read what you got. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 1. And the Most High spake all these words, saying, I am the Most High your power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. See that? Again, so-called black man, woman, and child. The Most High brought our people out of ancient Egypt. But let's see what he wants us to do. Drop to the first commandment. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. The Most High has told us to have no other gods beside him. So that's right. You got false religious ideas of the Most High in this earth that's being followed. That's right. If you call yourself a so-called Christian, if you call yourself a so-called Muslim, you are dealing with another God and not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Read on. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Lift it up louder, huh? You shall not do what? Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. The Most High told us not to make any graven images. That's right. When you look at your houses, you are nine times out of ten, you got a graven image there. If you got a European posing as the one they call Christ, that's a graven image. Uh -huh. That's right. If you got a statue of Buddha in your home, that's a graven image. That's right. The Most High told us not to deal with graven images. That's right. Read on. Or oh, it. Slot, slot. Read on. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. Uh huh. Or that is in the earth beneath. Notice that the Son of the Most High is in the heavens. So why do we have pictures of so-called Jesus in our homes? When this is a clear violation of one of the commandments of the Most High. Why are we doing these things? Simply because our religious leaders are not teaching us anything. That's right. Read. Or that is in the water under the earth. See that? If you call yourself a Christian, nine times out of 10, they probably got what on the back of their car? A fish, right? That's it's right. It's supposed to represent Christ. That is not the truth. That's a graven image. Uh -huh. And it's a violation of the Most High's word. That's right. Read on. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Read. Nor serve them. Uh-huh. For I am the Most High, your power. Read. I am a jealous power. Uh-huh. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. Read it louder, brother. Read. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. Notice that. The Most High said he will visit the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. And this is exactly what is going on in this earth today. The Most High is visiting us because we have violated his commandments. We do not keep the things that is written. The church tells you what? You're under grace and not under law. That's right. They're liars. You are under the Most High's right. commandments, whether you right. like it or not. That's right. right. In the end, you will be judged based on how you keep the Most High's commandments. Or if you don't keep them. That's right. Shalom. Shalom. What up, Box? Good to see you. Shalom. 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 What's happening, Shalom. Shalom. How you doing, sister? Shalom. What's going on? What brings you over here this fine day? What do you see right here? A lot of information. A lot of information, right? One of the biggest things, sister, that they did to us, they lied to us all the They taught us we was what? African American, right? This is what they gave us in church. This is what they gave us in school, right? You're African American, right? When you look at this, right? You look at the slaves, right? Look at these things. A lot of our people don't like talking about this stuff no more, right? It becomes taboo. It's like, I don't want to hear about no slavery. Ain't that right, so-called black man and woman? That's right. We don't want to hear about slavery. But that's how you got over here. That's right. Right? And right. those that brought you over here were not your friends. At all. In fact, give me that. Let's show our people as it is written. The yokes of mine. Bring it up. Uh, where is it at? You believe in the scripture system? You haven't read the Bible? Wait a minute, how old are you? 24? What was your, what's your family's religious background? They were. What they do? Live. 
Yeah, John. Okay, but let's see something. Pick it up at Deuteronomy 28. 48. Deuteronomy. Pick it up. Pick it up at the first. 15 verse. No, no, no. Let's show them. So basically what we out here doing is we're trying to show our people who we are according to scripture. Alright? Now, the scripture, they kind of make it seem like it's just a religious book, but it's actually a history book. It's much deeper than what people try to give off. Alright? Read it. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 28 yeah, and verse 15. Like but it shall come to pass if thou were not hearken unto the voice of the Most High your power uh -huh. to observe, uh -huh. to do all his commandments. What's going to happen? And his statutes where I command thee this day uh -huh. that all the curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. I know what you're Babylon and Timbuktu are glad you asked that question. All right? Okay, I'm going to give you a real quick synopsis. All right? I want you to read this for us. Take it. Give me verse 21 and verse 24. All right? I want you to read. I want you to read right here. I like that. So I'm going to give you a very basic matter of fact. Awesome. Real city birds. Babylon Timbuktu, page 84. In the year 60, 
65 BC, the Roman army under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state. So these Romans, these Europeans put an end to the Hebrew state. They came in and they destroyed our whole land. So like, like we read in Luke, in the New Testament, it said that he was going to fall by the edge of the sword. Read. With great slaughter. Uh -huh. During the period of the military gov governors of, of Palestine, Read. many outrageous and atrocities were committed against the residues of the people. Read. During the period from Popeye to, to Julius, it has been estimated now, that this is where I wanted to go here. It said that from the, from the period of Pompey to Julius, these is ancient Roman emperors that you can read about. It said from, from this time from Pompey to Julius, read. It has been estimated that what? That over one million Jews fled into Africa. It said one million Jews fled into Africa. So Hebrews, dark skinned Hebrews, fled into Africa. Ah. That's how our forefathers got into Africa. That's what you understand what I'm saying? So these Europeans came because we was violating the Most High. They want to keep his commandments. The Most High sent them Europeans against us. They destroyed our original homeland. And we start running into the different parts of Africa. And that's how we got into Africa. And then we end up on the west coast of Africa and then brought over here on these slaves just fulfilling the prophecy. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So read Deuteronomy 28 and 68 again. Come on with me. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Most High shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. Notice that. So the so-called Jew. This guy right here, this guy that claimed to be the Jew, the one that's, they live in Oak Park and they walk around with the black hats and all that, right? They claim to be the so-called Jew. But their history does not show that they went into slavery. Nowhere. The only thing that they give you is all we went through the Holocaust. That's right. all they can get. When you read the real scriptures, you'll see something totally different that happened to the real children of Israel. So, the children of Israel were 12 tribes. This book is called what? See what say? The 13th tribe. So it was a so-called Jew, long story short, that went into their history and realized, well, wait a minute, we gotta be the 13th tribe because we ain't a part of the 12. You understand what I'm saying? That's Read what you got, finish that out. Come on with it, up. Thou shalt see it no more again. Read. And then you shall be sold unto your enemies. You shall be sold to who? Unto your enemies. You shall be sold to your enemies. You see that? Again, we were sold to who? What's your last name, sir? My last name is Gentry. 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 That's probably some type of name, right? So let's just be honest. My last name is Murphy. It's Ivy. What's your last name? West. Preston. Preston. So these last names, let's just be real. These names don't belong on nobody from the same continent. Nah. They come from Europeans. He said you're gonna be sold to who? Well, to your enemies uh -huh. for bondmen and bondwomen. You see that? He said you're gonna be sold to your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. So when we got off these boats, they put you on the auction block. Right? This is what they did to them. Right? Then you see right here, they have a they have you right here being sold. So just like what, like today, they have the car auctions, right? You go in there, you bid. You start off with, we got a 2012 uh, Grand Prix. You know what I'm saying? And you start bidding on it. That's what they did to our forefathers. Right. And our four months. That's right. Time. And it's in there. Stop taking. Don't get you looking at this is a fine specimen. That's right. All right? This is what they did to us, sister, but it was fulfilling biblical prophecy. So all we're saying to you, turn back to the most high. Start studying your scripture. Time. Start right. getting into the history. That's really That's find right. out. We're in it. So y'all have to place y'all be there? Absolutely. I gave it to her already. She's got it. Oh, it's on the paper? Yes, ma'am. So y'all got your contact and I don't know if uh, there's some numbers down. There's some numbers down. Okay. 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 We wasn't able to see it in America. It was a full moon, but it was what's called the lunar eclipse. The, blood, the moon turned to the color of blood for over three hours. These are signs. I'm going to show you. Noel chapter 2, verse 31. Y'all keep it up. All right. Read what you got, though. We're going to show you about this blood turning to blood. The, the moon turning to blood real quick. I just want to give you this one, one, one real quick. Real quick. Get that. Joel chapter 2 and verse 31. Uh huh. The sun shall be turned into darkness. It said the sun shall be turned into darkness. And what else? And the moon into blood. Uh -huh. Before the great and terrible day of the Most High so the come. Most, the Most High uses all these different signs for us to pay attention to. 
Nah. You, know what I'm you can go. You can Google this. The moon turned to the color of love for over three hours yesterday. So we said before what? Before the great and terrible day of the Most High comes. So ah. judgment is coming. Give me three seconds. Judgment is coming. Last question. So it's high time for you to look. Start learning about the Most High, the one that created you. Learning what His words talking about. Turn back to Him. So look, because I'm, I'm, I'm asking you a basic question. You want to, like, for example, if destruction is coming to this place, you want to be saved, right? You want to be spared, right? Mm -hmm. what we all want. I know this stuff. Right? What you got. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So what's the conclusion of the whole matter of us bringing out all this information? Fear the most high uh -huh. and keep his commandments. Fear the most high and keep his commandments. We got to start turning back to what's written in these scriptures. Like, for example, you eat anything on this board? Yeah. What? Chicken is good. Chicken is good. Something else. Huh? You like red lobster? Yeah, you like lobster. Yeah, you feel like you like that. Huh? <laughs> but let's let's get that. Give me that. Right? These ain't food items. These Europeans made us think that this is something you're supposed to eat. Like, look, look at that. You eat lobster? You know, why would you eat something that looks like that? It don't look like that when it comes to that plate, right? right. <laughs> Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 12. Uh -huh. Whoso whatsoever have no fins nor scales in the waters, uh -huh. that shall be an abomination unto you. Most I say, if you give me anything in the water that ain't got fins and scales, like you gotta, if it's a fish, you gotta have scales and fins. That's a clean fish to eat, like salmon, tuna, so on and so forth, right? Look at these shrimp. Right, look at that. That ain't got fins and scales. Do that really look like something you're supposed to eat? It really don't when you really look at it, right? But he said, what? And, and these are they which shall be an abomination unto thee. Uh -huh. The five. Because you stop right there. So he said these things are an abomination. So like when you think about it, when you eat these things, you put this into your system, it's destroying your body. That's right. You know how many people actually are allergic to shrimp and lobster and all that? You know why? When they eat and their body reject it. It's not real food. Like, like pork chops? You don't eat pork chops? You don't eat no chips? That's good. But all these things are my personal choice. These are some of the things that I'm having with all our leaders. They can tell me that. You know what I'm saying? So that's just part of it. Right. So what you're saying is so you turn back to your heritage, learn who you are. You are a daughter of Zion. That's right. You're acting when we do. I'm people talk about we kings and queens. They don't never tell us where we kings and queens from. That's ah, right. That's right. They don't tell us that. All right? I mean, we some contact this man. We out here. We out here to Saturday. We need to do, you know what I'm saying? Let's get together. Because the end coming, sister. I know it might sound like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we out here looking crazy, whatever. The end coming, whether people want to accept it or not. That's right. We want to see our people saved. You've been beat up enough, right? That's right, huh? Like, think about it. Look how they shoot us down. Like, for example, they shoot us down in the street. Police shoot you and what happened? Come on. Nothing. They go to court and what happened? Huh? Huh? They get paid off. Yeah, they get paid off. That's how you know they in the Bible. They know they do. But guess what? Do you know that's pretty dumb in the Bible? If I can show you that in the Bible, what would you say? That's not that. Huh? If I can show you that the people that hold us and possess us as slaves and kill you and then turn around and hold themselves not guilty, what would you think about it? What would you think about the Bible? It's got to be on point, huh? Yes. Zechariah 11 and verse 5. Whose possessor slay them? Whose possessor slay the European possessor? When he bought you, huh? When he bought you and put your, that last name, what's up, Gentry? You put that last name on it, because guess what? When you buy a car, you put it in what? Your name, right? That's right. And so you own it, right? What? Slay them. And do what? And hold themselves not guilty. And hold themselves what? And hold themselves not guilty. You see that? Emmett Till's killers. Not guilty. You see that? Brother, they killed Trayvon Martin. Not guilty. You see that? It's written in the scripture, sister. You know why? Because that's how it's good. Look it up. Okay? We out here. We out here, folks. Okay, sister. Take care, sister. That's right, so called black man. Our time for you to wake up. Give me that Romans 13 and 11 again. It's hard time for you to awaken out of sleep. 
We've been asleep for too long. And judgment is coming to this earth. What are you going to do? You gonna continue sleep and get yourself put to death forever? Or you gonna repent and turn back to the most high? You got a choice. Let's make the right one. Read what you got. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And that knowing the time that now is high time. It's hard time to do what? To awake out of sleep. You see that? It's hard time to awake out of sleep. So-called black man, woman, and child. The Mosa is getting ready to shake this earth. And it ain't going to be no joke. In That's fact, right. me, Isaiah chapter 24 and the fifth verse. If we have been playing around with the Mosa for entirely too long. And he's going to get tired of it. And he's going to wipe this earth clean. And in order for you to be saved, you must be doing what he wants you to do. God, give me second answer. Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 5. Read. The earth also is the fire under the inhabitants thereof. Lift it up, Bob. Read. Because they have transgressed the laws. Come on, the top. The earth also is the fire under the inhabitants thereof. You see that? It said that the earth. The earth is the fire under the inhabitants thereof. People that are walking the earth are defiling the earth. The waters are polluted. Your food is genetically modified. When you look at what the earth is getting done to it, you can see it is defiled. Ah. Read that from the top. Isaiah chapter 24 verse 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. You see that? And unfortunately the sad thing about it is those that rule this earth, the so-called Europeans, they are destroying this place. Ah. They have destroyed us as a people and they have destroyed this entire planet. And we're turning around following behind them. What are we going to do? Are we going to wake up or are we going to stay asleep? Read what you got. Because they have transgressed the law. They have done what? Transgressed the law. You see that? Mankind is transgressing the laws of the Heavenly Father. Uh -huh. We do not keep His commandments as we are required to. Think about that. We eat in everything under the face of the earth when the Most High gave you a dietary law. You worship in all types of false gods. Contrary to the Heavenly Father. Matter of fact, let's go back. Keep me Exodus 20. Pick it up at the 8th verse. For example, so-called black man, woman, and child. What is today? Today is the Sabbath day. That's right. Today is the day of rest. That's right. This is the fourth commandment. But do your preachers teach you about that? How you doing, brother? Do our pastors teach us the commandment? They don't. They lie to us. But we're going to come and bring it to your wrong. Exodus 20 and 8. Book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Do what? Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The most I said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Gosh. This day is the day you're supposed to congregate. This is the day you're supposed to learn of the Heavenly Father. Yes, but are we doing that? Absolutely not. But tomorrow, you will go to church and fill up the church house. That's the first day of the week. Where did we get that from? The European. Read on. Verse 9. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. You see that? You got six days to labor and do all of your work. God. But what? Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. You see that? The seventh day or so-called Saturday is the Sabbath day of the Most High. That's yes, right. If you believe that the Creator created everything, you are to keep the Sabbath day. That's, That's right. Read on. And if thou shalt not Go 
Come here, man. Come on over. Come on over. Huh? I can't hear you. Come on. I can't hear you. I, I want to hear you. I can't hear you. What word? The high word. What high word? The, the Lord, the most. The most high? The most blessed. The say. most high. So That's they can be blessed. In the scriptures, brother. Yeah, yeah. That's but, a title for the heavenly But father. people wrote that. They're not here. You got to correct them according to the language okay, okay, well, let's and see. the days and the country we're in. Okay, that's fine. And then, that's it, fine. And then you got to go at them with Christianity. You lead them to Jesus Christ to repent from well, sin. Here's the thing. To pray a lot. You this know is what, what I mean? we out here for. To home. receive the blessings Okay, so let me ask you this. You said we got to bring correction, right? So yeah, yeah, okay, so check it. The, the story, you know. Okay, let me, ask, to, let, me you a, let me ask you a yeah, question. Save that story and okay. let it bless them. Okay. Let me if ask somebody you a wrote question. it, they weren't spiritual. You have to bring it to life. The story, you know, that's all. And then you gotta send them out there to go pray over so, the now, sick. Let me ask you a question. Some of them guys. Let me ask you a they question. They got the who, Bibles. Who is this guy right here? Huh? Who is this? Well, that in the give Catholic me, on, Church. Give me the engraving it. No, yeah, but this? in the Catholic Church, that's that's Jesus. This is Jesus, right? In the Catholic Church. In the Catholic Church. Some of the pictures, not all of them. Okay, oh, sorry. Watch, watch, yes, I'm sorry. So, uh, let me ask you this. Is this proper? No doubt. Is this, should we be doing this? Well, they brought him an image so people can pray to him where they didn't see him. Some people say, well, I won't pray unless I, I get a vision. So, like, so what you so got, what you got right here? What you got right here? That's the book of Christianity. Right, well, of Christianity. Read with, Christianity. Let's see what the scriptures talk about. We're talking about correction. Let's married. see what the scriptures talk about. That's supposed right. to be married? But that's not Jesus right here. Okay. That's not? That's no, a we, no, he, no. Some what he's doing, both. he's painting him. Yeah, but Give me first Michael B. This is here. not Jesus. Huh? This is not Jesus. Right, but uh, any, let me ask you a basic question. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so is that proper? They drew it. Is this proper? Should we be doing well, it? Well, as long as he wasn't people. Okay, read what you got. Okay, you guys got to stop moving. No, no, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let's listen. Listen. Let's listen. Let's listen. Okay, but this is sin. This is, sin this is actually sin, brother. My brother, this is actually sin right here. Read what you got. Right. No, Look at Exodus. Let's see. 20. 20 verse we 4. all got the image. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's, let's see. see. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, uh -huh. or any likeness of anything Testament. that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, uh -huh. or that is in the water under the earth. Uh -huh. So let's go.